I had this squared sign that I originally got from Dollar Tree in their fall section. I already sanded down the glitter that was originally on it and now I'm just going over it with Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. This did require two coats. Just dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and allow everything to dry. I then am using this Simply Blessed calendar. Also came from Dollar Tree. This is back in 2021. I'm gonna be using the bunny page. Grab your handy dandy Mod Podge. Just start applying a generous and even amount all over the sign. I'm going to allow that Mod Podge to completely dry. And then go ahead and grab the picture of your choice. Place some parchment paper on top. I am using my little mini iron that i got from amazon and this is called the iron on method so this just reactivates that mod podge so that way the picture will adhere back onto it and it reduces wrinkles and air bubbles and then if you have any excess paper along the edge just go ahead and give it a good sanding i didn't seal and protect this paper with more mod podge because it tends to bubble when i do the iron on method so i just left it the way it was i then had this bamboo wreath that came from dollar tree i will be using this dollar tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue to adhere this right onto the sign and i'm just placing it right over the wreath that is on the picture Put something heavy on the back of it and just allow that to dry overnight just to make sure that all the glues are completely adhered. And look at how cute that is. I then am just grabbing some greenery along with some lavender and some springy flowers. I am just putting these together and I will be holding these together using some floral wire. Now you could add as much or as little florals as you would like. I kept it pretty simple because I didn't want it to be too busy. And once those are complete, now you could use hot glue. I decided just to add some more floral wire and I just poked it through the grapevine wreath, placed my florals down, and then the tails of the wire I just twisted around the floral. I then just created a fluffy bow using some natural wired ribbon, applied a generous amount of hot glue on the back of it, and then just placed that in between the gap of the flowers. I then am using some of these wooden beads that I got off of Amazon. The way that I like to color them is by grabbing a Ziploc bag. I am using this burnt umber acrylic paint. It's just a brown paint. Add a little bit of water inside of the bag. Put the beads inside, give it a good shake, and then just dump them out and let those dry. I then am grabbing some jute string, placing some tape at the end of it just so it doesn't fray when I'm adding the beads on. And I did end up using a total of 16 beads. So you just wanna fill those right up inside of the string, tie off the ends of the string. Go ahead and grab that sign, flip it upside down so the back side is faced up. Start hot gluing those ends of the beads onto the back of the sign. And then for some extra support, I like to just hot glue some extra ribbon right over the ends of the string. And there you go, guys. I think this came out so adorable. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.